Hi, I'm Rabir. And I'm Matt. And this is Sounds Like on Addison's TV. So, this is another great episode this week. This, uh, is, this is the second special we've done. It is. Um, so, today we're going to be trying to sound like David Gilmore again, but this time without a budget. The idea is that we have absolutely zero, not 1500 pounds, not five grand, not mm. anything. We have no bouge. Yeah, and I'm really, really excited about that because there were things because it was one of the first sounds like videos we did. There were things that we rushed, things we didn't consider, and this time we get to do it properly, but without a budget. So custom shop strat, absolute boutique class A amplif amplification, all the pedals we need. Um, we're just gonna have fun with this one. So let's have a go. Right, so um, in our busting, it sounds like without busting the bank, um, mm -hmm. what do we pick? Well, we used a, I believe it was a plus top Mexican strat. It was. And we had a Hot Rod Deluxe. Yeah. And we used... The MXR Dynacom. We did. The MXR Phase 90. Well, yes, it was the Phase 90. And it was a Tone City delay. It was a tape machine. Tape machine. Yeah. And with regards to the reverb, we just used the built-in reverb, I believe, yes, from the amplifier. I think we did. So, things that we would like to do differently this time. Unfortunately, we can't get the high watt amp that uh, Dave Gilmore uses, but we can use Class A amplification and we can use custom shop guitars. So in that um, theme, we are standing in front of lots of- We couldn't be things. in a better, more suitable room for both those things. So this wall is custom shop fenders. So e everything from reissues to the NOS stuff, to inspired by models, to signature models, and Obviously, we're going to choose one of these. Well, yeah, there's only really two we can go pick from here. There are. Um, so I'll grab one and you grab one. Okay. So what have you got? So I'm actually holding the Dave Gilmore signature strap. Now, I mean, it's it's three thousand pounds. It's got a couple of cool features, and it's well, it's a Dave Gilmore signature strap. However, what you're holding. Well, the, the new old stock as well, that they try and use components um, kind of really, really reminiscent from the original stuff. Yeah. Um, but obviously it's a new guitar. Um, I, however, am holding the artist-inspired version. Um, this isn't a signature guitar. This is Anderson's have used Fender's Custom Shop program to design kind of something reminiscent to maybe what David Gilmore would have played back in the day. Um, Basically, it's that is inspired by this. That's right, and this is you know it's a bit more worn. It's got all the kind of it's it's a bit relics and aged. Um, I love that to make it a bit more legit. Um, you see now everyone's going to go well. Why not use the? I really want to use that because it looks awesome and it looks like it's got vibe in it. You know. Well, I don't see why we can't. Well, there isn't a reason why we can't, except for the fact that I'm holding the signature strat. So if we want to sound like Dave Gilmore, logic would permit you use the signature guitar. So normally we'd go, well, let's pick the cheapest one, because that's how we work. Um, but we could, in this case, pick the most expensive. We could pick the most expensive. Or we could just pick the one we like the most. I like that one more than this one. I, I'm in agreement. I prefer the colour of the neck to the colour of this one, and oh, I prefer I like the, the fact the it looks... the yellowing of the, all yeah. the plastic as well. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's, not, let's go against the grain and get this one. Amplification. So we're in the room of amps, and I'm stood around and I can see there are Tone King amps, Morgans, Friedmans, and... Well, I think, you know, last time with the Jimmy Page one, we did use Friedmans, didn't we? Yes. So maybe it's chan our chance to try something new. Yes, it is. So, therefore, oh. we look towards the Morgans. I mean, look at them. They are stunning, they are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So this one here, that's actually turned on right now, is, is 35 watts, I believe. Yeah. And you've got built-in reverb, 
three band EQ, volume, and I believe that's gain. I don't think the Morgan amps are particularly high gain at all. I think what they provide is the truest clean tone you could ever want. And maybe a little bit of bite with the mm. high, high input and a low input. Well, I think we were talking about getting a big muff as well for well, yes, we were for a bit of um, grit, so that might help. Or a Pro Rat, or both. Oh, both. Yeah. This amp is one thousand nine hundred pounds, which is just just in the I think we always need to push this home because I mean, it's just just in that head in itself. I think we always need to push this home because I mean, wherever you are in the world, even our budget, it's, it, it varies. You know, in different places, it's a bit more expensive and, and not that achievable. But this just shows that. It, in comparison, it's a lot less money. Um, so, yeah, this is £1,900 plus 749 for your cab. So that's 2650 plus another... Well, how much are we on for this? Well, 2599 yeah. So we've just topped five grand without even trying. £5,000 without even making... Without even leaving this room. Yeah. So there you go. That's, yeah, that's just shy of quadding the without busting the bank budget. Yeah. So pedals wise, pedals wise, we talked about the Big Mouth and the Proco Wrap. We did. So we'll get them both and uh, see what they sound like. Yeah, I think it's worth saying that there, were, there are pedals that we use in the without busting the bank that we'll still use in this one because they're actually really important for yeah. the Gilmore sound, like the Phase 90. We, there is a there is a posher version of the, the script Phase 90. version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if we we could probably extend to that this time. Okay. Well, other than that, we'll, we'll try the Big Muff, original Big Muff, we'll try the Proco Rat. I would like to get, um, I would like to try Strymon Flint for reverb, despite the Morgan having built-in reverb. If you want to go an oh, extra cool. step, if you want to go an extra is, step and get more dreamy. It is digital. It is digital. Is, I mean, I'm not sure how that digital gum all goes. I think he goes pretty digital. Alright, well let's give it a go. Okay. So we're also going to go for the T-Rex replica, which is a delay pedal which David Gilmore actually uses. Well that's um, easy. So that's an easy one, easy win. So we're going to get the T-Rex replica, we're going to get a Strymon Flint, we're going to get a Proco Rat, we're going to get an original Big Muff, we're going to get the Phase 90 script version. And we're going to get the Morgan RCA 35A head and cab. And the Fender Custom Shop inspired by uh, all black fender strap. Let's go and have a, have a listen. Back in the room, Matthew. We are indeed. This is David Gilmore by busting the bank, and it's um, been fun already. It has, and to be honest, like we spend so much time doing the 
without busting the bank videos, mm -hmm. it's almost quite a breath of fresh air when we actually have some really, 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 really super nice gear. Yeah, to because play with. part of it is obviously we spend quite a bit of time getting the tones, making sure that we listen to the records and then go, okay, we're getting close. But when you get really good gear, like we've got for this video, you kind of just plug it all in. You and just turn it on. And even if you're not even yeah. close to the record tone, you're like, well, it sounds beautiful already. Yeah, yeah, it really does. So obviously we're doing Dave Gilmore, and we took some things away from the last video that we did, which was one of the first. Mm. And um, yeah, things like we didn't have a big muff the first time, we didn't have a pro car rat. No. Um, and now, because we have the opportunity to have proper booty gear, custom shop guitars, and really expensive pedals, um, it, to be fair, in my opinion, this is prime Gilmore tone. It has turned out really, really well. I'm really chuffed with the tone yeah. that we've got. And to be honest, we've managed to get some gear which he uses himself mm -hmm. rather than just kind of like close tos. Yeah. Um, and this Morgan amp is doing oh, it's a insane. great job. It's really, really nice. <laughs> So if we go through the signal chain and all the gear that we're using, so start with guitar. So the guitar is an American made Fender custom shop inspired by Stratocaster. Yes. So to look at, you might say, this looks just like Dave Gilmore's signature Strat. Well, the idea is that this guitar is inspired by that Strat. Yeah. So, you know, same color, but it's a bit more aged and it's kind of the journeyman version. So it's a little bit tatty around the edges, but I really love the vibe that it has. And I'll tell you what, it plays amazingly well. Yeah, so that isn't a standard production model from Fender. No, it's not. Um, but you can find in the link below mm. in the description box um, this particular guitar. Mm. Um, they're only very limited. But, Racking um, in at two thousand nine hundred, uh, two thousand five hundred ninety-nine pounds. Yes, so it's not cheap, but it's, no, it's not. It is beautiful. It is, and it's probably the kind of guitar when you buy, you probably wouldn't get rid of it. If I owned this guitar, I'd be very proud. And if you went for the signature version, yeah. it'd take you quite a lot of time to make it look like that. Yeah, and again, the neck on the signature version is much more orange than this is. I guess that's faded. Yeah, yeah. And Either way, yeah, anyway. it's beautiful. It's lovely, lovely. And that's, that's running into this absolutely stunning Morgan RCA 35R. Yeah. Which is the 35 watt Class A boutique amplifier. It's really cool, and then into a 2 by 12 of the same brand. Yeah, just the matching cabinet to go with it. Yep. And interestingly enough, we, when we started out trying to get the tones for this, I had bass, middle and treble at 12 o'clock, uh, and the volume had just pushed over halfway. But I found by boosting the mid and the bass, and ducking out a tiny bit of treble, it gets closer, particularly using the Dynacomp, it gets closer to the clean lead tones that Gilmore uses. <laughs> It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, if I show you, it has built in reverb, but we went for a, a Stompbox reverb, the Strymon Flint, because it has more options for the type of reverb we're using. So, how does it sound with no pedals? With no pedals, it sounds like this. <laughs> Let's try adding a bit of compression in. Okay. So it, 
it immediately there's more spank at the top end because obviously compression brings your high and low transients together so you get more high end more accentuated high end more accentuated low end but for that reason it's great for all the kind of Which incidentally sounds nothing like David Gilmour. No, it doesn't. But it's great if you want to do that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, let's try a little bit of. Should we go from this end? Yeah. So now we'll put the flint in. Now we're using the flint on the '70s reverb setting because I figured that was appropriate considering you know dark side and all that stuff was '70s. So we've backed. We've put that on decays just over 12 o'clock. The uh, the levels just below 12 o'clock and the color is at 12 o'clock. So when you add the with the Dynacom, then you really get those kind of. Uh, Beautiful. Well, yeah, it's already getting closer, isn't it? Yeah, as soon as we added the compressor and that, put on the neck pickup, and all you have to do is that. And suddenly you're getting Gilmore vibes. It's lovely. So right, delay? Yep. So the delay, we're using it just to kind of support the reverb. It's not really a main not like a bad, bad feature, but it's no. just there. And this is the T Rex replica, which Dave Gilmore uses. Yep. So. Should we move on to phase? Yes, we shall. The phase 90 script. So I might just chuck the, the echo back down a little bit yeah. and then just play the, the famous best four notes in the world. Well, there you are, that does it. That does that, <laughs> doesn't it? These two, we, we, used, we used both, didn't we? We did. We used the Big Muff for Comfortably Numb for the guitar solo section, and we used the Proco Rat for Money, the guitar solo section. Uh, and it, he tends to use, from what I've seen and what we've been told, mm. um, he, he's used both for different things, but what's really interesting in this scenario for me and Matt is when you turn on the Big Muff, it totally gives you that comfortably numb tone, like, so easily. But you can hear where he's used both the Proco and the Big Muff in different albums, different solos, that kind of thing. Well, let's just give you a back-to-back. -back. I'll switch between them so you can hear the different sounds. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So, Big Muff. So yeah, a bit more pokey than yeah. the rat is. The rat's, t it's got a sharper edge to it, yep. which you can hear in things like money and the guitar solo for money and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but then, as we were saying before, by just using the Dynacomp, then you get the, the, the sort of clean guitar solo used in the wall yeah. and like the beginning of Shining Your Crazy Diamond and things like that. So we've mentioned it. I was playing a just a Fender Strat into a Fender uh, Bass Breaker just for a bit of um, just to give the solos a bit more context. Yeah, and I think by having Matt playing the chords underneath some of the lead sections, it really gives you... Yeah, well that's it, exactly what Matt said. It just gives you that authenticity. Yeah, so it wasn't necessarily the rhythm guitar parts, but as yeah. close as possible, where possible, but otherwise just, yeah, supporting a little bit. Yeah. <laughs>
So more or less, let's just call it, round it up to six cra six grand. Yeah. If you throw in a pack of strings and cables and patch leads to do all this with, yeah. you're talking about six grand. So that is quadruple what we used on our budget for without busting the bank. Yes, and if you want to see that one, we've put a link to that in the description box, mm -hmm. so you can kind of make your mind up which sounded better or whether it's worth spending four times the amount of money for a similar sound or you know make make your own judgment and let us know what you think yeah i'm just going to give you my opinion i totally think it's worth getting this rig if you can because it's absolutely incredible to be fair you're getting a lot of different bits yeah. i think giving getting by like six pedals yeah 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 I, I would totally go the extra mile save up for five years <laughs> yeah. Get six grand and then blow Not it all on this rig. Yeah. But we really hope you've enjoyed it. We've certainly enjoyed this one. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask or suggest for another buy busting the bank, then please do so in the comment section below. And yeah, links to all the gear with the specific pricing and availability is all in the, in the description box below. Awesome. Well, don't forget to subscribe. I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. And this has been Sounds Like on Anderton's TV. See ya. <laughs> That's why I looked at you and raised yeah, my eyebrows. Yeah, I thought you were saying no. No. Because you didn't do this. Oh, you, right. you raised your eyebrows like, no. <laughs> right, let's do that again. Raise your eyebrows does not Oops. mean yes. <laughs> okay.